good morning. Well, we're all settled into our chalet here in Belgium. In, in uh, we're actually staying in the town of uh, Rondeau, close to La Roche en Ardennes, which is the the rock of the Ardennes is what that translates to. Uh, so it's an area kind of close, so, you know, southern part of Belgium, uh, close to a couple of uh, other countries that that we will talk about. So we're going to go to Luxembourg today. We're doing a little road trip in our new car. And we're going to go see a castle in uh, Venden. Vianden is what it's uh, called, actually. <laughs> Vianden. I'm going to learn these things and how to say them, I promise. So, Vianden. And there is the Vianden Castle. So, we're going to do a little hike up to the castle and show you that today. And who knows what else we might have up our sleeve. We might even dip into another country close to Luxembourg, huh, honey? Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. So, come along and join us. Vianden, yep. and it's just the cutest little place. It's like a storybook, and we're gonna hike up to the castle. I believe it's called Castle Vianden. Yes. Yes. Of Vianden. Yes. Of Vianden. So we're gonna take a little hike up. It says it's a uh, half a mile. Yep. And I don't know, guys. It's just beautiful. It's like a little fairy tale storybook town with the architecture and flowers in the windows and the yeah. stonework and the cobblestone streets. It's magnificent. I love it. It's pretty deserted today, but it's Monday morning. Hey, so. yeah, that's the best time to go, right? Yeah. And, um, and the castle was from the 1700s? Tenth, oh, 10th tenth century. century. Yeah, the 10th century. So we had so much fun in this castle exploring all the different um, centuries, right. um, going through the years. They even restored it from 1978 to 1987. Right, relatively um, recent. So it's still in good condition. It's probably one of the nicest restorations that, I've, that I remember seeing. Uh -huh. So it'll be interesting to see when we visit other places like this, yeah. how it compares, but really highly recommend it. Um, how much was it to get in? 
it was eight euros to get in per person. We did not do the audio book probably or the audio guide. I mean, probably one person uh, I think should that was have done two more it. Dollars. Yeah, I didn't, oh, I didn't pay attention. Yeah. But um, yeah, it has lockers. There's a little cafeteria if you want to have lots of restrooms. Yep. Lots of restrooms. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so yeah, we enjoyed it. We spent about two hours there, I would say. So yeah. so good. Uh, and it's a three hour parking mostly in most parking lots around here. Yeah, so. down down in the little village. Yeah, parking is is um, how, for three hours for. How much? It was a, new, a one euro per hour. One so. euro per hour. But up here, closer to the castle, we found after we walked up here, There's it's uh, for well. five hours. Yeah. Um, I don't think you need to be up here for five hours necessarily, right. but there are some trails up closer to the castle that take yeah. you off someplace else. And there's a tree adventure park on right. the other side. Tree top kind of thing. Yeah, where you yeah. do the, the, the skill things. Mm -hmm. So anyways, beautiful castle. Recommend it highly here. Yeah. And, Luxembourg and Vienden. Yes, exactly. I said it. Well, it's such a beautiful day today after touring the castle in Vienden. We decided we would go to Clairvaux. 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 We thought, well, it's so sunny and it's a beautiful day and it's only uh, one o'clock in the afternoon that we'd make a stop there and check that out and show that place to you too. We've been there before a long time ago. Oh seven years ago we were there yeah, yeah. So. so this is gonna be fun to revisit it and uh, drum up some memories and stuff. There's a little hike to the top that we didn't do and because it is sunny today uh, we might just go ahead and do that. Yeah. yeah unless the weather changes. Yeah never know about uh, Luxembourg or Belgium for that matter. But Cervaux, Clairvaux is in Belgium. Luxembourg. Oh, it's in Luxembourg? Yeah. Oh, it's in Luxembourg. Okay, we're still in Luxembourg. So we just saw a sign that said Germany. Well, it didn't say Germany, it said Deutschland. Bundesrepublik Deutschland, yeah. There you go. <laughs> so we thought we'd uh, cross over the border and maybe drive around in the countryside for a little bit in Germany. We thought about it earlier, but then we're kind of deciding not to do it. And now we just saw, or actually Debbie just saw, that uh, by the river, the river is the border. So the river had a bridge over it. So of course, as you cross the bridge, Here we go. you cross the border. So yeah. In yeah. Germany. Just cruising. So after we drove up the road just a little bit, the uh, first little town we come to is Athler. I'm not sure if you say that right, but here in the German countryside. Let's see what else we come up with. So behind me, you can see Clairvaux Castle. Clairvaux Castle was actually rebuilt after it was destroyed in the Second World War. The Battle of the Bulge raged in this area. Um, currently, it houses some of the administrative offices as well as um, some museum, an exhibition currently. Uh, so, and there's a restaurant in there as well. So kind of a cool place. They still have multi-uses for it. So it's nice how they repurpose these old buildings for the This is the Church of Clairvaux right here. We didn't actually go in, but um, I just looked on my phone and it turns out there are some beautiful paintings in there, carvings as well. One particular uh, gentleman made all the carvings, uh, all the sculptures in the entire church. It was actually built relatively recent, I would say, in 1911 to, thir to 12, and in 13 then it was, it was how do you say that, inaugurated. 
um, as a church. So it's uh, it's actually a relatively new church. I would imagine that uh, following some of the wars, there was some some turmoil around here, and then it doesn't specify what happened to it in World War II. But I would imagine if the building behind Debbie was destroyed uh, in a fire, that this also may have been impacted in some way by by some of the destruction. So we're taking our little walk up to the abbey here in Clairvaux. Clairvaux. Yep. The abbey, of course, is a part of the church. We saw the church just a bit ago. And so they have this little walk up to the abbey. And we're going to go check it out. Could be a great view from up there as well. Yes. Alrighty, so this is the end of our kind of journey through what was supposed to be Luxembourg. Ended up with the slice of Germany as well. Just a little slice. <laughs> yep, so uh, great day. Started off with the castle, really enjoyed that. And then kind of a Sunday drive almost on a Monday, but yeah. you know, uh, just kind of took our time and uh, Clairvaux really is a nice place to come and, and just walk around for a little bit. And where uh, we're at right now is the Abbey. On the, on the top of the hill here right in, in Clairvaux yep. yeah so we did the little hike up here uh, five minutes maybe to the top apparently you can do some little tours in there um, right. in, in the church itself um, but we just went in the in the gift shop and just took some pretty pictures and we're gonna head on back down the hill but we hope you enjoyed coming along with us on our little road trip today just uh, wanted to show you that you don't have to go to the big, fancy, touristy places. Right. Um, maybe some of you have heard of these few little places in Luxembourg and you've been here. Um, but we wanted to show you, you know, all that there is to offer that's not in a big city right. uh, and that or, they're close. Or a popular country. Or Yeah, or a popular country. Right. A lot of people are like, you know, where's Luxembourg? Um, but anyway, so if you enjoyed the road trip and you'd like to join us on some other ones here in the next few days, just hit that subscribe button down below and yep. then hit that little bell and click all and you'll get notified every time we're done with a road trip through Europe. All right. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.